So if you look at the task book on page 208, then this four graphs is basically the one that we just discussed. And one thing that is worth noting is um, for basically the other three, other than the, the A, that one, the other three you can see that they are all curved. And so that's why we call non omic device. Okay. To move on, uh, there's a um, thing that we, we will include in this part of the video. Uh, that is the equation of resistance uh, in terms of its physical property. Okay, so um, physical property including the, the so-called nature of the material, that means resistivity. Actually, we have uh, learned about this in year 10 also. So length, cross-sectional area, and uh, actually there should be an idea of temperature as well so here we we still assuming the temperature is fixed you can see that right it's fixed so uh the equation r equals to rho l over a is exactly the same as what you learned in year 10 okay so i don't think i need to explain too much about that resistivity again depending on the material and just to be careful the area is referring to the wire cross-sectional area okay and usually for wire we assume it's cylindrical shape unless they sub specify it okay so um, let's try to do some examples so let's do uh, the first two okay pause the video now and try it first we'll check the answers later okay so here is the answer uh, so what is very simple question what you have to do is to recall the equation first so r again r equals rho l over a and you get from the question that r is 5 this is rho and l is unknown and for uh, the area you have to be careful because the question tells you that di diameter is 4 mm but the area is calculated by r squared times pi. So what you have to do is divide it by 2, then that gives you 2 mm, but mm is not SR unit, so you have to change it back to meter, so divide 1000. Uh, not to forget, put a bracket when you try to press a calculator for squaring. And that would lead you the answer for L. For the next part, uh, next question actually um, maybe I shouldn't give you this question but I think you should know how to do it because this is a question uh, about power and let's just have a quick recap on power first so if you learn in year 10 uh, power in a circuit is calculated by V times I or I square R or what V square over R All right these are the three equations that you can do and uh, just to quickly remind you uh, the one that you could derive the power for power equation the one that you can derive first is actually v times i because let me take some space here so v if you recall the fundamental definition is what again energy over charge and i was uh, the charge per unit of time all right, so if you try to multiply them together, this one, multiply this one, then you'll find the charge Q cancel out, leaving you leaving you that it will be E over T, and that is exactly power. So this is how you can derive uh, the first circuit power equation using the relationship and the definition of V and I. And after that, what you could do is uh, you can try to use the Ohm's law to derive the other two very easily okay so I think it would be important for you to know how to prove it okay so uh, for this question you would want to choose out of these three you would want to choose I square R because uh, they give you R and they give you I so simply substitute in you find 48 watts and for the unit of watts in fact it is joule per second Right, be careful it's per second always but the question is asking you how much energy in one minute so you have to apply the equation that is p equals to e over t and substitute t as 60 second because you have 60 second in one minute and this is how you find the total energy for one minute okay very simple stuff 
so uh, instead of going through the power that part in the textbook I think again it's very self-explanatory if you want to read uh, feel free to read it but I think what you have learned in year 10 will be sufficient already so right now I will want to ask you to do um, I think all the question from actually five okay let me circle it out 5.12 and 5.13 and also 5.14 okay you should be able to do all of them based on what you learn in chapter I mean in year 10 okay pause the video now and do it first okay let's check the answer for 5.12 uh, it's a very simple question. Uh, it's basically telling you that there is a rate of value for this light bulb, which is 60 watts at 220 volt. Uh, if you re recall what you learned in year 10 also, then this is uh, a rate of value where you can obtain its resistance by the information here. However, when you try to use the actual light bulb, maybe not in the same country. For example, 220 is very likely uh, places like uh, Hong Kong all right, or uh, I think uh, most of the country actually in the world uh, for some country like Japan they use 110 all right because they think it is uh, safer to use uh, a lower voltage uh, 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 what I'm saying is of course it's really safer uh, uh, so it really depends on what you you really want uh, in your region so uh, anyway what you can do is uh, by relating the information using the equation of p equals to v squared over r and I do uh, try to make it slower uh, by making it into two equations so p1 equals to v1 squared over r same for p2 All right, r is the same however since it's the same light bulb remember so the resistance must be the same however for v for i for p power they are all due to the external factor so they may be changed and what you can do afterwards is uh, it is uh, what you can do is simply equation 1 divided by equation 2 so 60 over p2 so cause this is 60 and this is the unknown so 60 over p2 and same for the right hand side and you can substitute the two voltage into it and you'll find out power is actually uh, 15 watts you'll find out in fact uh, you should find uh, if you are more uh, kind of an intuitive person and you'll find hey since voltage is dropped by half all right this is like divided by two and the equation you can see v is having a square so this defect is going to be square also so divide by four so if you think simply think about 60 divided by four that actually gives you the direct answer of 15 watts that means it will be really true that uh, if you are trying to switch on the light bulb in Hong Kong as usual if you bring that light bulb to Japan uh, it will only give you a quarter of the power only okay and that also explain why if you went to those country before if you try to charge your phone it will take much longer time simply because of the voltage is much lower so the time probably in theory it might be a uh, it will take four times longer to charge let's take a look of the next question i haven't finished it uh, because there are different approach so i'll try to explain to you in uh, more a, a step-by-step -step manner so uh, the first part is easy it asks you to calculate the total resistance so if you remember in year 10 let's have a quick recap for series circuit or series uh, resistor you just add them together so R1 plus R2 is the equivalent resistance or total resistance for parallel uh, when you have say like these two they are parallel so what you could do is uh, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 equal to 1 over RT or you can say 1 over RT equals to these two add together with the power of inverse right, which is the same thing so uh, the first part of this question simply is uh, I try to do it quick so here this is a part where you try to deal with uh, the parallel the small area parallel uh, resistor here so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 inverse 
at the same time uh, this whole thing is in series with 1.8 so plus 1.8 here and at the end you should find the equivalent resistance or total resistance is 3 ohm okay so this part should be fairly easy okay so uh, for the next part uh, it will have quite a few of approach to do because um, for calculating power you know again there are three equation I'm not going to repeat again but as long as if you look at th this table uh, so for R I would put down 1.8 2.0 and 3.0 as long as you know the other one of them so either I or V you should be able to work out P so let me give you an example if you want to know the I of this going through 1.8 then you can simply use the information you get from part A which is equivalent resistance is 3 and you know from the battery that it is 6 so 6 here using on floor then I will be 2A okay so this is actually 2A and I could put 2 here as well so using this table actually can help you to do uh, you know handling this question quite easily so for uh, the equation for I and R will be I square R so use your calculator 2 square times 1.8 that will be 7.2 actually like what I do here uh, but I think I'm just too lazy to write it out uh, for the other two so you can uh, do it by yourself so uh, if this is 2a then if you recall how they will split the um, current then it will, it will by this ratio so 2 to 3 however for current it will be opposite because apparently for 2 ohm they will take more current because more current uh, will find this is easier to pass through so more current will try to go through that so if you really want to calculate then the ratio will be 2 this is the mainstream one times a fraction which is 2 plus 3 because this is the total resistance and for the top of the fraction this will take 3 for 2 ohm all right, while the lower one is similar, 2 plus 3, which is 5, but then it would only take two portion. All right, so this is how it would split for these two resistors. So for answer, that will be 2 times 3 divided by 5. So that would be 1.2. And that actually means this is 0 0.8. All right, I can actually use uh, 2 minus 1.2 to calculate. So similarly, uh, then we can calculate power, which is using I square L, 2.88, 0 0.8 square times 3, one point, okay, nine two. Okay, so this is uh, how you can work it out. Uh, the other approach, however, is that assuming you did not calculate I by the way we are finished already so I'm just trying to show you another approach is to use voltage and if you try to use voltage then you can uh, you have to firstly consider that uh, this is 6V and you need to find out how much resistance is here okay so the resistance for this one will be using the same approach like I did here is 1.2 so uh, when they try to split the voltage then they would split according to the ratio of the of the resistance so for this one uh, it would have 6 times uh, we all know it's 3 right in total and then for this one is 1.8 so 1.8 divided 3 times 6 is 3.6 all right so and if you try to use the equation v square over r you you should still get the same answer 7.2 same for the other two since you know it is one uh, 1.2 ohm and oh well i should say the voltage across this because these are parallel right it's nothing it doesn't matter about is 1.2 now so uh, the voltage since this is 1.3.6 then it will be the remaining one that means 6 minus 3.6 that means uh, 2.4 so 2.4 for this 
2.4 for this and then you can still use uh, again power equals to v square over r to find out this power and i bet that will be exactly the same as how we did uh, if we try to use a current approach okay so i think this question is a very good summary or uh, recap for uh, recalling what you learned in year uh, year 10. okay so for uh, the last question let's take a look together there's no calculation uh, although if you like to you can try to give them resistance like uh, 3 ohm for each all right if you like to but uh, i think i will try to use the approach with doubt number so the question is saying there are three lamp that are identical that's why i said it's all three uh, ohm uh, when you see identical it basically means they are always same resistance uh, assume to have a constant resistance that means it uh, doesn't matter how what happened to the temperature and discuss what happened to the brightness when, whenever we talk about brightness you can relate directly to power because more power gives you more brightness simply so it said discuss what happened when of a and b when switch is close okay when switch is close okay and no internal resistance Internal resistance is something that we will talk about, I think, in the next subchapter. Okay, so for now, uh, you just simply ignore it, just like how you do in year 10. So what happened is uh, you have to think about the V is fixed. And once this is closed, then some current will flow through to this, to this way. Uh, and you have to see the curved circuit like this. This is one resistor and then here they would be parallel with us so originally it was it was one hour plus another hour before it's closed so it's just simply two out uh, for the original so let's say two out in that case and when this is closed then this whole box will have a resistance of r over 2 right if you recall what you learned in year 10 uh, or using the equation of this you can work out it's r over 2 and and so in that case that will make a difference uh in terms of the brightness because when you try to see that uh before before uh for a and b va and vb that will be half and half 50% and 50% because they are both the same resistance if you try to look at this too right both are R and R so 50% 50% for after uh, when we talk about VA VB then you have to look at how much resistance they have so since we set uh, for B and C where they put together as a parallel circuit then they they in total they have R over 2 while AC remain having a resistance of R so uh, by using the ratio you can try to uh, imagine this is like 1 this is like 0 0.5 then you should find A VA uh, will take up the total voltage of 66.7 percent basically it's you know two-thirds of the whole voltage while B and actually will equal to C as well they will take up the remaining voltage which is 33.3 percent so if you try to look at the change then for a it will be brighter so for a you will say it is uh, brighter brighter and for b uh, you could see that it will become uh, less voltage and less voltage apparently uh, will means less power so it will be dimmer all right um, the equation that you can re rely on is V square over R equals to power so if voltage decrease then power decrease and decrease and if power decrease then the brightness also decrease okay so that is the end of this part of video